Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a nice decoration for going at your door for Easter or for springtime. So this has become really fashionable nowadays, making decorations to enhance your door or the front of your house. It doesn't have to necessarily go on the door, it could go on the wall beside the door. And we've all seen wreaths and uh, they're very, very nice, but I was wanting to do something a little bit different. So I went for a little bit of a shop around the town and we've got one of those kind of like discount stores that do kind of uh, some clothes and bags and uh, some homeware as well. And I managed to get this basket. Now this is kind of like a raffia basket on a wire frame. And I thought this would be really interesting hanging on my door. So we've got our basket. I've also got this little uh, nest uh, like bokeh holder, uh, which I thought would be quite cute. So we're going to use that. We're going to use a little bit of dry sec, which is basically foam specifically for artificial flowers, because we're going to do this with artificial. And uh, I've bought some artificial flowers as well. So just a real nice range of spring um, artificials. Uh, so what I looked for was some colours that match, uh, toned together. So really like this one with the white and the yellow kind of links between the yellow and just the white. Uh, and just as a little highlight, I've got some nice little uh, uh, lily of the valley as well. So that's our flowers, that's our container, and we're gonna get started. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that we've got no labels on our flowers. Um, because it's so easy when you're using artificials to forget that they actually tend to be labelled and then uh, you don't want to miss one and find that it's actually sitting there for everyone to see and uh, you've missed it. So, take them off first. Now we might not use all these flowers, we'll just see. I just bought a little range that I thought was quite pretty. So, I'm going to do this facing me, but what I thought would be interesting would be... Right, we need to work out... Yeah, so there's a metal uh, rib there, and there's two metal ribs here. So... I just thought this was quite cute. As a bit of interest. Now this isn't a very fancy basket at all, um, so I'm not really worrying about if it gets damaged. It was actually reduced. The other thing as well is I want to put a bit of foam into here. So this is going to be the interesting thing because how best to do this. Mm. So we've got a rib at the back uh, that we can take this from. So let's So if I do like a stitch through there I can come back on my tape. I can then hold that quite tight onto where I'm going. And then do the same down here. Because this is going to be outside, it needs to be quite secure. Now I'm lucky that where I am, it's outside, but it's actually under a little bit of a cover. So it's not so problematic uh, for getting wet. But obviously if you're going to make something where it's going to get wet, you have to really take that into consideration with your choices. So like, 
this I don't think would do very well uh, if it's going to constantly get wet. So we've got our base. Now you could do some decorative things coming from here. I'm not going to do that just now. Uh, I want to see how it looks, but you could add like streamers of ribbon or whatever. Um, but the first thing that we're going to add is our large, larger pieces. So, so we'll just work these through. With them all being in one place, it looks a little bit odd. So we'll just move them through. So essentially, I suppose this is seeing a container and seeing its potential to uh, really frame an arrangement, but also uh, to act as a support and a base for making an arrangement. So for all our dry sec is giving us a bit of structure, we can actually do a little hook on here as well. And come back on ourselves. So really, our main kind of flowers are these beautiful tulips. And this was interesting. This was flowers that I actually got from a hardware store. Uh, I like to go for a walk. And uh, every time I go past the hardware store, I think, oh, they've got quite nice artificials. Uh, and they just got in a whole range of spring artificials. And I thought, you know, some of them are quite nice. Uh, artificials is not something I use very often, but to be honest, um, for something that's going on the door. So I'm just grabbing it and giving it a twist. Uh, then, uh, yeah, for things that are going on the door, I thought this would be actually quite nice. So I would say as well is do not uh, overly worry about making outdoor decorations. They're really fun and they're really um, just to be enjoyed and you don't need to stress too much about the finish. I would say the main thing with this is that you make something that is strong. So something that actually will uh, not fall to bits, not be blown to bits, not uh, suffer from wet if that's going to be a problem as well. So just using that really as a way to help hide the foam. Mm. I do like these. I've tried to keep this uh, piece of foam as small as possible because if you make it big, it actually becomes much harder to hide. But then the danger with that is, is it going to be strong enough for what you're doing? 
So it is a bit of a balancing act. And <laughs> I think it was the way I was taught, but I also try to be economical, so I don't want to cut stems uh, unless I can help it. So that's why actually feeding them through is quite good, because they're still there. Whereas cutting them short and maybe securing them by gluing them, you have lost the stem. Yes, it works. But you've um, limited your ability to reuse that at a later date. I'm just feeling it coming through the other side. And then as I say, we can just feed this in. And what I love about artificials, to be honest, is that you can really make them do anything you want. Uh, you can put them in, they don't need a water source for a start, and um, you basically can make them sit in any direction you want. I'm going to do that low just because it takes the eye down and it uh, is help hiding that foam. So the only other thing is really these little catkins. I think are quite cute. And I do want to looking for a bit of moss there. I've got a little gappy bit at the back here, so I'm just gonna put in a couple of cones. <laughs> that I had from Christmas, which is why you're hearing the bells. Just know that I've got them there. But that gives a nice little detail just in. So essentially what we're wanting to do is create something that has interest and colour and detail, uh, but is also fun. Right, let's tidy our feet here. So, this is our little arrangement. This is going to hang on the wall. Um, and I think we could do with something just to finish it. It would be quite nice to add a bit of something. So, this gives us a ribbon without being heavy, but it also ties in with the colour of the, the basket itself. And I'm just using a wire just to... just to do that now. Where is my tape? I had a little bit of stem there that I cut from one of the other flowers, so I've just used that to strengthen it. The wire that I used to bind the bow, or to tie the bow, that allows me to secure onto that stronger stem. And by using the, the gutter, that lets me hold the whole thing together. Uh, the problem with using like loose wires and then trying to feed it into foam is that they tend to um, split and move and they don't work particularly well. So let's just do a couple of tails as well. So again, I need a wire. So if I just 
make a leg, so it's like making a loop. So this gives me a stem, and this gives me the ability to bind onto that stem. And then if we just add in another piece just to give us a stronger stem as the actual stem, then we have a really good base there. But as I say, it's worth taping it. It doesn't have to look pretty because it's going to go into the foam. But we can actually just pop it under there. So there we go. We've got our um, finished item. Okay, so this is our finished door design. What we've got is we've managed to find a really cheap container. So in this case, it was this kind of raffia basket on a metal frame. I like this metal frame because I think I could reuse it once this gets damaged. But it was cheap and it made a great uh, opportunity to frame the flowers as well as hold the flowers. We've used some nice artificials that are good quality uh, but catch the eye and give a splash of colour in contrast to basically the white and the muted colour of what we've got here. This is just giving us some interest, taking the eye down. So we've got the eye goes up and the eye goes down and this I think is going to look really good on my front door. So hopefully when people come to visit they'll, they'll notice it and they'll appreciate it. So a simple design that anyone can do, so if you feel inspired then why not have a go and um, if you're feeling in a spring mood, we have another video which basically uses an egg basket to create a spring design. So why not have a little look at that and get some more inspiration for spring. We've got new videos every week. We'd love you to join us for our next design. So until then, stay safe, subscribe, tap the bell, and we hope to see you soon.